as soon as we come to the last year of engineering or the last semester of any undergraduate degree we happen to face a lot of questions from our society like how many companies came to your campus are you placed what about your package or do you want to pursue masters while these questions have a generic five sets of answers the first set yes uncle i have been placed and the company is great and thank god i got a kick start on my career the second set the company is okay and the package is not so great but not a bad thing to start with you know the third set i hate the company and i'm just working there for my salary the fourth set i just want to finish my education in one shot and later i will think about jobs and etc the fifth set i am an entrepreneur sir and i'm working on my own company and fingers crossed it goes well well this set my friend the last set it receives a lot of negative reaction from our society like what are you in your right mind your parents have spent so much on your education and you still want them to invest on your startup just don't waste your time on this bullshit yaar it doesn't work out for everyone yes we do understand that you all are telling these out of concern but please do support the young mind or at least do not discourage them by now most of you would have guessed that today's episode is a story about a young entrepreneur so without further ado let's just jump right into the story as an engineering student kaushik srinivasan loved hands on experience but he was not so keen on the academic part of engineering <laughs> like most of us since he had a great profile through competitions paper presentations and projects he got an internship offer from a company named sperro mobilities where he worked on building an electric motor and met his entrepreneurial mentor sir motilal shivasubramanyam the ceo of sperro mobilities this exposure gave kaushik a spark to start his own electric vehicle company named mekalos motors Yes you guys it is very important to have an entrepreneurial mentor to keep you guided on the right path Soon after the internship Kaushik and his friends started working on prototype and presentations to attract investors but obviously they faced a lot of rejections and three of his team members withdrew from the startup because of the pressure from society family expectations and the rejections During this time is when Kaushik realized that building a strong team is more important than having fancy websites and marketing strategies. Hence, he made sure that the team knew the real scenario outside, that there would be more rejections than approvals, that there would be pressure from the society and family. After their graduation from Sri Ramakrishna Engineering College they presented their work to the trust and the panel was very happy with their presentation and a sum of 1 lakh 5000 rupees was granted to them this sum was used to build a prototype and which was later presented in IIT Madras Research Park Incubator and i must say they were one out of these seven startups that got selected as an incubator but due to the pandemic they couldn't stay on campus and work on their model and the funds were also not released but this didn't stop kaushik he got his team motivated to work on many freelance custom motor designing projects and motor brokerages to raise their funds and after a great deal of struggle and explanation he got his parents to invest in his startup He used up all the money that he had earned and his parents' investment to bring his dream to existence. Finally, he had successfully built an e-cart named Tusker that could transport 780 kilograms of cargo excluding the weight of the driver. Congratulations to Kaushik and his team for making up to this point despite all the odds. Signing off Aishwarya Manjunath.